everyone. MB Geeks, MB Geeks Let's Talk. I am MB Geek. So this is a continuation of Dexter New Blood, uh, mainly on the character of Chief Angela Morgan. At the end of the show, she is certain that Dexter is the one who killed Kurt Cardwell's son, he is certain that Dexter is the Bay Harbor Butcher. She now has firm proof that Kurt Caldwell is the serial killer that's been killing runaways for the last 17 years, including her young childhood friend. You would think this would give her character a decent amount of closure and satisfaction. She's covering up for Harrison, who actually shot Dexter. Here's the problem, though. Things are not going to be a good outcome, I don't think, for Chief Bishop. First off, I don't think she's going to have a job very much longer after this. I mean, you're the chief of police in a small town, and there's been a serial killer there for 17 years. That, any competent mayor is going to be like, uh, I need your resignation. Hell, the mayor might even have to resign. So Chief Bishop has that that problem right there. She also has the problem she cannot prove. The only thing she'll be certain to prove is that Dexter killed one of her deputies. Also, not a good mark for her because she ran off and left Dexter alone with one of just one deputy. So that doesn't bode well for her decisions, even though she is the one who found the pit where the serial killers are. And then, of course, she's got to admit, well, it was Dexter who told her where it was that proved that it was Cardwell. She'll probably say that, um, she'll probably say that, um, Dexter just did it to try and throw him off, but realistically, anybody's going to believe that, yes, the story where Kirk Carwell killed his son and then tried to blame Dexter for it, it's going to be believable. Angel's supposed to come up there with his evidence of the Bay Harbor Butcher stuff. Realistically, though, her... I don't really think this is a good thing she's going to want to bring up. She's already got enough shit going on with one serial killer. And then to find out, bad enough, she dated a guy who killed one of her deputies. That's not going to look good. To top it all off, you're going to admit that not only was there a serial killer under your nose, there were two serial killers under your nose. I'm telling you, this is not looking good. The other problem is... She shot, she's claiming she shot Dexter, but unfortunately, Dexter was unarmed. Even though he killed a cop, it's still bad optics. So, say she keeps her job and stuff. She's still got to deal with her daughter because she has to lie to her daughter, say that Harrison ran off, she killed Dexter, which is probably going to translate to her daughter's mind because she was very close and was very attracted to Harrison, and there was a relationship building there. She's going to probably blame her mom, saying he ran off without telling her because her mom shot his dad. And when she tries to claim, oh, he killed the son and he's a Bay Harbor butcher, and she tries to explain it, like I said, adults aren't going to buy into this very much. So chances are her daughter's not going to buy into it anyway, and just her daughter in this, he, she's just making excuses. And if she claims, well, he killed the guard, well, you know what, you put him in jail, you threaten him with all this. Scared he's going to lose his son again. Maybe he got desperate. Maybe it was an accident. I mean, I'm talking all the things a kid would say. A teenager would say. Biggest factor is, even if she tries to claim that Dexter is the Bay Harbor Butcher, even if they look at things, it's been, what, 15, 16 years since there's been a Bay Harbor Butcher uh, type of death. So for her to try and say, well... He's gotten ketamine, which she had a legitimate reason for, and that, oh, well, there was this puncture in the guy's neck this drug dealer said he gave him. Yeah, that, that's really going to bow well as a witness. That, like I said, also, do you really think the, the Miami DA is going to want to take any of this into account? Could you imagine the political fallout of them even trying to reopen this case with this kind of stuff? It'd be a laughing stuff. So, unfortunately... I don't see things going good for uh, for Bishop. I don't think she's going to have a job. And I think she tried to push this too far. She may be right. She's got it all right, but she has no proof to back it up. 
and any proof she has is purely circumstantial and coincidental at best. So, I have a feeling that even though she's going to get some praise for finding the dead bodies of all those girls, I still don't see this working out well for her. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the character of Chief Bishop at the end, what possibly is coming to her at the end of Dexter New Blood. Goodbye, everyone.